hello and welcome back to my channel. The channel where I've built my own DIY supercar using an old Audi estate like this one and the prototype is in my workshop and in this episode we're going to continue with the strip down of this new donor car which is an Audi A6 2.7 twin turbo and we're going to chop the roof off. Now I've chopped a few roofs off a few cars in my time and the last one was the Ford Cougar which gave up its roof for the prototype. Now I chopped it in this garage and you might be able to see this wooden frame here. Okay? This was suspended above the roof and I had some old seat bolts attached to the roof and that way I could cut the roof off and then lift the roof up from the car and then slide the car out and then when I've got my other chassis in that I'm still developing, I could then lower the roof back down again several times until I've got it to fit. So I'm going to show you the sort of the technique that I use to build the prototype on this Audi A6. Now the problem I've got is the roof on this one is much longer than the original Ford Cougar. And my pivot point, if you like, or the hook for my ratchet, my uh, hoist, is there. That worked well for the short roof on the Ford Cougar. It's not going to work too well on this one. So I'm going to have to move this over to somewhere around here. Yeah, there's no way of getting around it. So I'm going to have to get the car out. I'm going to have to move the, uh, the hook position point, if you like, over to there, get the car back in, get it prepped, and then I can chop the roof off. So that means I'm going to have to centralise the car back into the centre of the garage, remove the skates and get the car back down on the ground. Central. overdoing it with a bacon.
should be enough. I don't need it all the way out, I just need enough access to get to this thing. Like I mentioned before, this is the jig or the cradle that supported the cougar roof when I chopped that off and I was uh, uh, developing that roof to fit my chassis. Now I don't think I can actually use this on the, um, on the A6, it's not really necessary, um, but I need it out of the way and I need a few bits and pieces off this so I can put a new hook about here. So let's get this down. These are the old toe hooks, if you like, or hitches on my original donor car, which was an Audi 100. A6. So what I need to do is just unbolt these and I'm going to use these and bolt them up there and that should give me my hook. into the garage. Trouble is it's shifted a bit. I've got no steering on this thing now, you know, no steering column, steering wheel or anything. So it's uh, gone a bit towards the house. So I'm going to try and drag it over a little bit and then push it back in. some nylon cord here. Let's just tie the roof up. out the way and lower it to the ground. Well, probably not all the way down to the ground because I don't think my hoist goes that low, but uh, near enough to the ground. Well, it's all ready to get the roof chopped off now, but I'm hungry, it's baking time, so I'm gonna come back to it tomorrow. Well, it's the next day, so let's get chopping. I've got my uh, reciprocating saw ready. Got some blades. In fact, I bought some more blades and some cutting discs. Now, when I chopped up the Ford Cougar, it was quite easy actually. The, uh, the blades went through it like knife through butter. Chopping up the Audi on the other hand, that was quite difficult. It must have been made out of thicker steel or something. But anyway, hopefully I've got enough blades and enough cutting discs and we'll chop off this roof. Okay, it's a little tight in this uh, garage. 
So I'm going to have a bit of difficulty getting the camera in, but I'm hoping I can get you some good shots. Now I'm planning on cutting out these large sections first. I think I'll take off the top, take off the bottom, get these removed on both sides, and then we can tackle the smaller pillars further along down the roof. So here goes. First bit done. wasn't too bad actually. Chop through that really easily. A bit like the Ford Cougar. No real issues at all. So they're the two big ones chopped out. So I think it's time to chop out the two A pillars at the front. Same again. I'm going to chop from the top first and then the bottom second. And when I remove these two A pillars I should get a feeling of the balance on this roof. Now, on this occasion, all I've done is I put some nylon rope into a centre and I've just hooked it. So the roof itself might tip or wobble a little bit, it's not too much of a big issue. But if you're pulling a roof off a car and then you're going to put it back onto your chassis, you would need to make a jig so that you could adjust each corner of the roof, the strap length, and that way you can get your roof to be nice and balanced. So anyway, chop these two out, see what sort of balance I got from the roof, put some tension on that, and then we'll chop out the uh, rear pillars at the back. Here we go. Choppy choppy! This is quite interesting. Looks like there's expandable foam squirted on the inside of this um, body. It's probably for um, soundproofing or something like that. But it doesn't go all the way down to the end. And the same on this side. Oh well. First blade gone. Oopsie. Yeah, it looks like the roof wants to tip forward a bit. So I'm going to put some tension on this now. I 
think this blade's gone blunt. Done. I have a feeling that this roof is going to tip forward and I don't want the rear part of the roof to shoot up and hit, hit the roof of my garage. So I put a bit of blue cord here just to hopefully stop that from happening. And now I can chop out the final two pillars and we'll see what happens. Same as before, top first, bottom second. I think I'm going to change tactics here and I'm going to chop the top on the other side and leave these in place just for a moment. So this is the last cut to separate the roof from the rest of the body. Now normally I would like a second pair of hands, you know, just to hold the roof so it's, you know, it doesn't do anything stupid. But, you know, I don't really have anyone I can uh, call upon that's local. So I'm going to start cutting this and then see what happens and judge it along the way. For a moment there, I thought the roof was going to go. <laughs> but it's chopped, it's now separate, and yes, it's leaning forward. Right, I think I'll go for the bottom cut now on this side. It's always a dodgy time, that is. All right, that's off. To the other side now. The roof is totally separate from the car. Well, actually, it was with the last cut, but you get what I mean. <laughs> Let's take a quick look. So there's the roof, suspended above the rest of the uh, body shell. Some expandable foam. Nothing really in there. There we go. Yeah, this cord at the back did its job. It stopped it tipping forward, but now all the slack is there, so it looks like the roof is pretty well stable. So all I've got to do now is push out the body shell, lower the roof to the floor, and that's about it.
there's the car pushed out so there's a shot for you <laughs> so now all I've got to do is lower the roof down pretty good. My hoist did make it all the way down to the ground. With the roof chopped off, I can get rid of this hook and put my uh, cradle back. Right, that's back up. Let's get the body back in. Well the roof is off and the car is back in the garage and not a moment too soon because it looks like it's going to rain. Anyway I think that'll do for this episode so thanks for watching and catch me again and in the next episode we'll be cutting this body shell in half. Until then, bye for now. <laughs>